David, my man, take a seat. Welcome to Broken Analog Audio Headquarters. It's good to see you. How are you doing? How are you doing? Good to see you too. Look at this muscle. I got to go back in the gym too. Right, right. So what's new? I'm going to blow your mind. You're going to love this. We are launching a completely new plugin. It will change the market. It will change everything. It's really something special. And we want you to do the video for it. Oh, that's great, man. Thank you. I'm super curious to see this never seen before plugin. Now, what is it? It's AI, new technology. Yeah, yeah, all the above, all of the above. Only it's not AI really, and uh, it's uh, not a new technology either, but it's all about the idea. You know, ideas change the world. Right, right. So what is it? It's an emulation of the 1176 compressor. Oh, <laughs> an, an 1176 compressor, like the 1176, like there's kind of a few out there, right? Yeah, yeah. But this is different. This is one of a kind, super rare, super vintage. We were able to get a hold of it and model it. Okay, really vintage. So like first year of production? 67, 68? Almost, almost, almost. Just a little bit later than that. Oh, okay. But 70s. Yes, yes. Uh, a decade after. Right. So uh, 80s? That's not really like a great era. Right, right. In fact, in fact, this is even better. This is 10 years old, man. T 10, 10 years ago. Well, uh, that, 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 would, that would be 2014. That's not really that vintage. Super old. Okay. And we modeled this special one. It was this famous studio called Northeast West something where all the biggest artists recorded at, like all of them. Oh, so it was used on famous records. Yes. And, and no, this wasn't really in the control rooms. Where was it then? Close. Close. It was in the storage room of the studio, same building. Oh, so like new old stock. Exactly. But this was broken, so they put it in the storage room. So nobody actually used it on any records? No, but it was close to the ones that they used. So same magic. <sighs> it doesn't really work that way. Amazing, isn't it? I mean, not really, but... I knew you'd be excited. Well, did you at least fix it before modeling it? Because it's a little bit of a stretch, but maybe that could be a talking point. No, no, we didn't. You know, it would have taken too much effort, too much money, you understand? So we kept it exactly how it was for legacy to get that authentic sound. But if it doesn't work, then... No, it, it did work. It did work. It was just very, very noisy. And it had these random bursts of static and the knobs that were working were really, really scratchy. And we kept exactly everything as it was to get that mojo. Okay, can you at least turn off the noise and the scratchy parts? And no, no, you can't. <laughs> That's part of the mojo. That is the mojo. But what makes this totally different is the GUI. It's exactly like the unit with broken knobs and broken view meter, so you can't read anything on it exactly like the unit. Oh, okay, well... I guess, show me the GUI. Here it is. We made it from scratch. Oh, oh, wow. Uh, wow. That's, <laughs> that's really broken. And uh, it, it, it kind of kind of looks a little bit like uh, the UA one with uh, like a cracked filter on it. Oh, no, this is totally different. It might resemble a little bit, but it's from scratch. Totally different. All right. All right. Okay. And, and, uh, uh some knobs don't seem to turn. Yeah, exactly. I told you we kept everything like the original. So the input wasn't working, power doesn't work. But you can still press the knobs. If you press them enough, they might stop making noise. Right, that's great. The input knob doesn't seem to make any difference either. So I, I suppose it's just all about gain staging and how hard you hit it. Yeah, exactly. But uh, not really. The input level has no bearing on the sound. This is a totally static processing. It doesn't change anything with level. I, I see. At least we have the buttons. Some. What do you mean some? Some work. Some don't. We have at least the old bottom mode? Oh yeah, we have that. We have a slightly different version of it. We call it a some bottom mode. 
Oh, okay. Well, um, I, I see you got different versions. There, there's what it seems to be like a, a blue stripe, which kind of also look a little bit like the UA. No, <laughs> no, we just thought that model is popular. We are just going to make another GUI. And oh, we have we have a purple one too. I, I suppose that's a completely different model because that's a completely different sound. No, it doesn't change anything. We just thought we would make more money if we had different GUIs. The sound is totally the same, but we won't tell people. Man, uh, I'm I'm sorry. Like I gotta be honest, I'm not sure I'm the right guy for you for this. Uh, what's the pricing of it? Oh, it's gonna be a steal. We are gonna sell for five ninety nine. Five hundred and ninety nine U.S. dollars. <laughs> That's kind of steep. I know, I know. But after the impulse sales, we are gonna drop the price to nine ninety nine. Dude, you can't do that. Like people are gonna get mad. I know, right? <laughs> But we will release a free analyzer plugin later on just for PR. So, <laughs> are you on board? 